hi welcome you all to pebbles in today's class we are going to see multiplication a new chapter chapter 3 multiplication max class 3 okay now let's start the class first we must know what is multiplication repeated addition is called multiplication repeated addition is called multiplication for an example say i'm just writing the numbers 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so you just add everything so 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4 20 okay you can get this answer so see look at this number 5 into 4 so this is 4 4 how many time it comes 1 2 3 4 5 times so 5 into 4 you can get 20 so both answers are correct that is called as this is a multiplication this is a repeated addition that's what we are going to say that is what i said repeated addition is called multiplication repeated addition is called multiplication i think so you understand for an example see look at this this is a basket and so how many baskets are three baskets are three baskets are here so in each basket how many uh, what how many brinjals are here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 5 this is 5 and this is 5 okay that is 5 5 and here also 5 so 5 brinjals so how many baskets see how many baskets the number of basket is what number of baskets is 3 okay so in each basket how many brinjals number of brinjals brinjals number of brinjals in each basket that is what 5 that means you have to multiply 5 into 3 otherwise you write 3 so how many basket 3 baskets how many brinjals in each basket 5 basket sorry 5 brinjals so i'll repeat once again there are 3 baskets are there so each basket how many that is each basket how many brinjals are there in each basket 5 brinjals 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 3 baskets in each basket 5 brinjals are there so number of basket is 3 number of brinjals in each basket is 5 so 3 into 5 you can get what 3 into 5 you can get what the answer is 15 otherwise you root you can write the repeated addition that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 you can get 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 5 what you can get 15 10 plus 5 you can get that is 15 3 into 3 baskets and 5 brinjals in each basket you can get 15 so both answers are correct so both answers are correct so that is what multiplication that means repeated addition otherwise we can call it as repeated addition is called multiplication multiplication otherwise called repeated addition i think so you understand the sum so this is an example okay this is an example for a live example i just explain you i think so you understand the example is very clearly so i'll repeat once again what is multiplication means repeated addition is called multiplication multiplication means first you must know the definition repeated addition is called multiplication that is what i have given 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so you just add all the 4s you can get 20 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4 20 so here how many 4s you have to count 1 2 3 4 5 5 4s so 5 into 4 you can get 20 so both answers are correct it understood so multiplication otherwise we can call it as repeated addition so both are similar that is what i given the example so look at the example how many baskets are there there are three baskets in each basket how many brinjals are there are five brinjals so one two three basket and how many brinjals five brinjals that is what i've written number of basket is three 
number of brinjols in each basket is 5. So that is what 3 into 5 we can get 15. This is a multiplication. So otherwise we can do the repeated addition method plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 because this 5 is this 5 is what? So 5 is a brinjol. In each basket 5 brinjols, 5 brinjols are there. So 5 plus first basket, second basket, third basket. So 5 plus 5 plus 5. So these are all 5, these all 5s are what? Brinjols. So 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. So 15 brinjols. Otherwise you can do one thing. It is a repeated addition method. Otherwise you can do the multiplication method. That means 3 baskets. In each basket how many brinjols? That is 5 brinjols. So 3 into 5 you can get 15. Anyhow this is repeated addition. Otherwise we can call it as multiplication method. We can both are similar. I used here repeated addition and here I have done a multiplication. So both are same. 15 is equal to 15. That means total number of brinjols is 15. I think so you understand the live example very clearly. Now we are going to see some properties of multiplication. This is the properties. This is called as properties. properties of multiplication. First, when each group has the same number, we use multiplication to find how many are there in all. That is what we have. I have given the example very clearly. When each group has the same number. So, there are three groups because three groups are here. So, has the same number. So, how many brinjols in each group? Five brinjols because each group means here each basket you have to consider. So that is what this is one group this is another group this is a third group first group second group third group first otherwise we can call it as first basket second basket third basket so in each basket same number that means has the same number mean same number of brinjol is here so we use multiplication so that is what i have done the multiplication here that is what i have done the multiplication so multiplication here so we use the multiplication to find how many brinjols are there in all that is what Number of brinjol is what? Number of that is brinjols. B R I N brinjols. That is 15. Number of brinjol is called? Sorry, number of brinjol is what? 15. So 15 brinjols. So this is the example. Any number is second one is any number is multiplied by one, that number itself. So if you multiply by one, you can get the same number. Itself means same number. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number is that number itself. That means, again, again I will repeat, any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. That means, example 5 into 1, you can get what? 5. So, these two numbers are going to multiply. But 5 is going to multiply by 1, you can get the same number. That is what itself. Any number is multiplied by 1, that number itself. That means, you can get the same number. Uh, I, have, I have given the example of 5. Even 4 into 1, 2 into 1, 4 into 1 is equal to 4, 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Otherwise, what 10 into 1 is equal to 10. Otherwise, 100 into 1 is equal to 100. 1000 into 1 is equal to 1000. 500 into 1 is equal to 500. 200 into 1 is equal to also 200. This is the example. The second property, any number multiplied by 0 is always what? 0. So, any number is multiplied by 0, you can get 0 only. That is the example. 0 into 5 is equal to 0. 0 into 10 is equal to 0. 0 into 100 is equal to 0. 0 into 1000 is equal to 0. 0 into 200 is equal to what? 0. 0 into what? 40 is equal to what? 0. So, this is what? So, any number is multiplied by 0 is always what? 0. That is the example. The order of number being multiplied does not matter. That means order of a number. What is this? Order of a number being multiplied does not matter even the example is 4 into 5 you can get 20 otherwise 5 into 4 is equal to 20 that means if you want to change the order of the number 4 into 5 you can get 20 you must say the multiplication table you are going to say the fifth table otherwise you can use the fourth table which is your convenient which 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 is your convenient or which you are thorough in the table you can use the table, no problem. So 4 into 5, so that is, that is a 4 into 5, you can get 20. So this is the middle of the number. There are three numbers are there, 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 
So 5 is center number that is the multiplication table you are using. Otherwise if you are very thorough in fourth table you can say the fourth table also there is no issues. So 4 into 5 is equal to 20, 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16, 4 fives are 20. So 5, 4 into 5 is equal to 20, otherwise you can change the order 5 into 4 is also what 20, so both are same. If you want to change the order of the number that doesn't matter, even you can get if you want to change the order of the number also you can get the same product, that's the right answer, that's the uh, that's a true. That is the property. So, okay. Now, we must see the terms of multiplication. I think so. We have seen all the three what uh, properties. Again, I will repeat. When each group has the same number, we use multiplication to find how many are there and all. That is what I have given the example. I tell you. So, each group has the same number. We use multiplication to find the how many means. We find the total number of total number of the product. Next one. Sorry. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. 5 into 1 you can get 5. That means I have told you if you multiply by 1 you can get the same number. Same number otherwise we can call as number itself. Next one is any number multiplied by 0 is always what? 0. So if you multiply any number you choose there is no problem. If you multiply that number is multiplied by 0 you can get only 0. That's the right answer. The order of a number being multiplied does not matter. That means if you want to change the order of the number, there is no problem. You can get the same answer. That is the what exact meaning of the property. Now, now we are going to see the terms of multiplication. That means the numbers that are multiplied are called factors. The numbers, any two numbers that are multiplied are called the factors. The answer after the multiplication is called the product. That means 4 into 6 is equal to 24. So 4 into 6, any number, that is if, if you take any number that are multiplied, so 4 is one number and 6 is another number, these two numbers is going to multiply, so you can get what, you can get the answer. So these two numbers, that means the numbers that are multiplied, these two numbers are multiplied, so this is, a, this is called as factors and the answer after the multiplication, after you multiply, you can get 4 into 6, after the multiplication over, you can get the answer. So, that answer is called as a product. So, I think so you understand the numbers that are multiplied are called the factors. So, any two number are multiplied, that is called as a factor. The answer after the multiplication, that means the answer is called as a product. This is the terms of the multiplication. I think so you understand the what? What is the definition and what is the other term of multiplication? That means repeated addition, otherwise we can call it as multiplication. So, we must know the definition of multiplication and properties of multiplication and also the terms of multiplication. With an example we have seen. I think so you understand very clearly.